Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Bharia and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about how you can be creative with your photos and how you can give colors to your photos. And this is going to be a little detailed tutorial, but you'll get to know everything about the photos, how you can, how you can play in the highlights, how you can play in the shadows, and what are the highlights, what are the shadows, and where you can apply the colors, how you can give the colors in the highlights, how you can give the colors in the shadows and everything and i'm going to edit this photo in lightroom but this application is also available for your phone for android and for iphone for free you can download from the play store and you can do the exact same settings in your phone you know i also added my pictures in my phone because it's too difficult to go to the computer and then edit and then transfer to the phone because i upload on my social media and you can go ahead and check my instagram account all the pictures that i've edited in my phone with this application lightroom so it's so effective but just for demo purpose i am going to edit this in computer so it'll be easy so okay let's start it so this is the picture that i clicked in the morning with my phone uh, around 5 or 6 am and this is the picture we're going to create so first of all i'm going to reset this picture just click reset so we're gonna play with the basic adjustments and the tone curve first of all just crop this photo yeah this is enough done okay so let's change the temperature if I go to the right, it'll turn yellow, it'll go to the left, it'll be blue, so I'll, I I need little bluish look, so I'll just keep it 5. And this is the tint, so if it'll go to the right, you'll get the magenta, if I go to the left, you'll get the green, so you see that. So I'm just gonna keep it little bluish and magenta look, and then I'm going to increase a little bit contrast decrease the highlights okay what is the highlight now if now if i decrease the exposure you'll see that this is the area i can still see so this is the highlight area and the area which i cannot see this is the shadow okay so if i'll decrease the highlights this is the only area that's going to get affected for example if i'm increasing the highlights you can see that i cannot see this area so I'm just going to decrease the highlights and then I'm going to increase the shadows. Look at this area. I'm going to increase the shadows. See this area, it's get light up. If you go to the left, you'll see that this area will be dark. If you go to the right and that's how. So I'll just keep it 33 and then I'll increase the whites a little bit. And I'm going to decrease the blacks just to give it a contrast. So whites and blacks are to give a little bit more contrast. So if I'll decrease the blacks, you'll see it's more contrasty. Now I'm going to increase a little bit vibrance. Yeah, just to give little colors. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to play with the tone curve. This is the most important part. And I'm going to give all the colors in the photos just with this tone curve. So just, just watch it for now. Okay, first of all, I'm going to play in the RGB channel. This is just, you don't have to do anything, just create three points. And this is the highlight area and this is the shadows area. So if I'll decrease the highlights, you'll see that I'm just basically decreasing the highlights. And if I am decreasing the shadows, I'm just, I'm just decreasing the shadows. You can see that if I'm increasing the shadows, again, you see that. So I'm just going to decrease decrease the highlights and little bit of shadows and I'm just going to increase a little bit of mid tones this is the mid tone area between the highlights and the shadows so we have created a curve like this and now go to the channel and then click red so we're gonna play with the red channel now just create some points on this okay this is the red channel and now see that if I want to increase the red in the shadows what I'll do is I'll just increase this you see that you're getting all the reds in the shadows and if I'll decrease it, you'll get green. Like how? Check this color wheel. The opposite of red is the green. So if I'll decrease the red, you'll get the green. That's the same thing. So I'm decreasing red from the shadows. It's getting all green. Okay. So I'm just going to decrease a little bit of red from the shadows and a little bit of red from the highlights. That's it. And now I'll go to the green channel and I'll create some points again. One for the shadows, one for the midtones, and one for the highlight. Now, if I'll increase the green in the shadows, you'll see that the green will increase in the shadows. Now, if I'll decrease the green in the shadows, you'll see the black. Like, see that. This is the area you're going to get somewhere between green and magenta. 
so we are going to increase a little bit of green in the shadows and decrease the green from the highlights you see that if i am decreasing greens you are seeing the all red and magenta color if i am decreasing all the greens you are seeing the magenta and the red is coming up so this is the same thing it is the highlight area and i am just decreasing the greens from the highlights you are seeing that all is getting in the magenta the red so just decrease a bit and now go to the blue channel okay this is the blue channel now we're gonna create the three points again now you'll see that if i'll decrease the blue from the highlights you'll see that the, all the yellow is coming up how let's go to the color wheel and see that so opposite of blue is yellow so if i'll decrease the blue you'll get the yellow so if i'm decreasing the blue from the highlights you'll see that the yellow area will come up that's the same basic phenomena yeah just decrease a bit that's it and I just keep it somewhere like this and I'm going to decrease a little bit of blue from the shadows as well not much oh, did. yeah somewhere like that yeah I'm just going to adjusting the blues you can see that all the colors you will set it I'm just adjusting it and I'm going to adjust a little bit of red and then back to blue and that's the picture we have created so I'm just going to show you the before and after check this we started with this picture and it does not have any colors in the photos you can't you can't say anything when the picture was clicked now with this picture you can say that it's it's clicked either in the sunrise time or in the sunset time and this picture looks much better to me it has all the colors I want and the picture I want to see so you can be creative with your photos and you can play with the colors you want in the highlights area and the shadows area you just need to know this color wheel and if you want to create a blue in the highlights then you increase the blue in the highlights and if you don't give a yellow you can increase the yellow in the highlights so that's the way you can do it and it's so simple and I hope this tutorial helped you and if it helped you then please subscribe to my channel and like this video and mention in the comment below what are the topics that you want me to cover I'll do that and I'm gonna see you in my next video till then take care bye bye <laughs>